but if you're willing, I'd like to ask you, Zach Flora, what is the biggest risk? Yeah, Darren, absolutely. And I'm going to come at it from the point of the real estate community. And there's this growing need to be able to kind of measure and implement green and healthy building initiatives. And I think the biggest risk to the real estate community today is to not understand what it means to be a healthy building, not understand uh, what it means to, what those concepts are around creating a healthy building and to new, too narrowly focus in on kind of one set of aspects. So if it's an industrial, to, narr to too narrowly focus in on maybe things like um, workplace injury or commercial office space, to too narrowly focus in on things like indoor air quality, or to say we're you know, doing energy efficiency and that's going to be enough. Um, being that healthy buildings are, this idea of healthy buildings are relatively new, even though the evidence base has been around for a for hundred years, companies and, and the real estate community specifically, they need to understand exactly how their buildings are performing against a set of related metrics um, so that they can begin to figure out how to manage and measure the risk related to health. Um, and you know, we can come back to that, that office environment. We have low occupancy rates still. We're struggling to get people back into the office. If you don't know how your properties are actually impacting health right now, you're not going to be able to make the effective changes to build that trust and reduce and mitigate that risk moving forward. Um, you're not going to be able to figure out how do I prevent um, reduced occupancies in the face of maybe a future um, contagious or respiratory infectious disease outbreak like COVID-19. We're not going to be able to understand how do I control for mental health issues and um, social equity issues that my employee, that my tenants and their employees are, are asking about. Um, so not being able to kind of look at the broader picture, understand where, you, where you're starting from um, so you can make a really strategic and informed um, uh, plan moving forward is I think the biggest risk to saying you're not going to be able to see some of the returns we talked about unless you know exactly where you're starting from and, ex and setting goals and being able to meet them. You're not going to be able to see those kind of um, the stability of tenants. You're not going to be able to see that return on investment because maybe you're too narrow in your focus or maybe you didn't know where to start and you didn't know where you were so you didn't start appropriately in kind of retrofitting or designing or implementing healthy buildings into your culture.